Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello! And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hands on our laps and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then, let's go down low. Touch our toes. Then we can go back up high. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave side to side. And then back down to touch our toes again. Now stands up straight. Let's have a shake, guys. Arms and legs, shake it out. And then hands on hips, and we'll have a wiggle side to side. Stop. And then another wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. Next, we can go round and round. Round and round. Round and round. And stop. And then back the other way. Let's go round and round the other way. Round and round. And stop. And to finish, guys, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Have a seat. Okay, so in today's math class, we're going to move on and we're going to look at a particular type of symbol that we use in math. And I'm going to draw it on the board. Now, who can tell me, guys, what does this symbol represent? Addition. Addition. Excellent. It's a symbol we all know already because we use it in math quite often. This symbol represents addition. So let's write that word on the board too. A... T T I T I O N. Addition. Addition. 
And sometimes you might hear another word that represents addition too, which I'll draw in brackets. If you hear the word plus, P-L-U-S, like the plus sign or the addition sign, they both mean the same thing. Sometimes in math we will use the word plus, and other times you will hear the word addition. So it's important to remember that both things mean the same. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look at how we can add or plus different numbers together. So first of all, I will give a demonstration. So we'll start with a three-digit number, guys. Who can give me some digits? Two, seven, six. And then we need our symbol, plus. Now, I would like a four-digit number. Five, six, three, two. Let's go with two. And then we'll use our equal signs. So, we have a three-digit number here. What's our three-digit number, guys? 276. Excellent. And then we have a four-digit number. Excellent. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add both of these numbers together. So what's important to remember is our term that we use called place value. Remember place value, guys? Where each digit sits in relation to the number. We start with the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So when adding numbers together, particularly num numbers that have different sets of digits, we need to remember place value. And how we can work these numbers out is we can do a symbol like this. Five, six, three, two. Okay, now we're going to add this number. So it's always important to start from the place value of the ones. What number should go in here, guys, from the three-digit number? Six. Six, seven, two. Yes. Now, you know why it's important about place value, because we don't want the two to be here. What place value does the two represent? Hundreds. What place value does the seven represent? Tens. And the six? So you can see, when we're adding different numbers together, we need to know the place value of each digit. Because if the two was in the thousands column, that would be wrong. We'd be adding the wrong numbers. So what we can do now, that we've got our two rows together, we can begin to add. Two plus six equals eight. 3 plus 7 10. equals 10. So remember what we've learned about regrouping. What digit needs to go in here, guys? Zero. Zero. And what do we do with the 1, the 10? Carry over. Carry over. So we can put the 1 in here. Yes. 6 plus 2 equals 8, plus the 1 we've carried over. 9, and then we come to the thousands column. Now 5, is there anything to plus with? No. So we simply, we just write the 5 in the thousands column. So we can work out together 5,632 plus, I forgot my plus sign, <laughs> plus 200 and 76 equals 5,908. Yes. Now notice the 10 value is 0. But when we're adding together, we always need to include the zeros wherever they are. Because the 0 is important to maintain the place value. So let's do one more together, guys. Give me some digits, guys. 
nine, three, okay? So we start with nine and three. What comes next in a five-digit number? Before we write the number? Comma, okay, nine, three, eight, seven, and one more, two, okay. So we have our five-digit number. Now for our six-digit number, and I've already heard four, then I heard one, two again. What, Zero. what do I need to do now? Comma. comma. Remember, after every three digits, we have our comma. Zero. Zero. Six. Zero. Six. Zero. Six. Zero. Okay. So we've got our two numbers on the board. A five-digit number and a six-digit number. So guys, what is our five-digit number? 93,000. 872 and then plus yes 412,060 okay so what I always suggest doing when we're adding numbers together always write the largest number first the number with the largest or most digits Four, one, two, comma, zero, six, zero. So you how many digits? Six. So it's important to note when we're writing our five digit number, always start from the lowest, the ones. Two, seven, eight, comma, Nine. So you can see now, by doing it like this, we have all our digits in the correct place values. And we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Excellent, guys. And this time I will write my plus symbol. So guys, you tell me, zero plus two, two. equals two. Six plus seven, equals, three. equals 13. So we need to regroup and carry over. Three, one. One plus eight, nine. equals nine. Comma, two plus three, five. equals five. One plus nine, equals 10. So we regroup again, zero, carry the one, one plus four, five. equals five. So we can say 412,060 plus 93,872 equals 505,932. And this is how we add together numbers that contain different amounts of digits. And it's important to remember about place value. But guys, that was excellent, very well done. And what we've got now, we've got a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe and listen to about how to add together different sets of numbers. So let's all turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation about addition, addition. Or, plus. or plus. Yes, this symbol here in the slide is known as the addition symbol or the plus symbol. So remember, guys, if you hear addition or plus, it means the same thing. When adding up numbers, it is important to add the correct digits together. Yes, remember about place value. We always need to make sure we know the correct place value of each digit. So for example, we have a six-digit number here 
and a five digit number. What's our six digit number, guys? And 2,254. And we're looking to add it with a five digit number. 95,313. Okay. So step one, what we need to do is we need to organize. And by organize, we need to write the two numbers that we need to add together with the correct place values. So once again, you can see here, we start with the ones. Tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000s, and then 100,000s. Yes, and once we've correctly organized our sum, we can then begin to do the addition. So the next step, we start with the ones. Yes, we always start, when we're adding numbers together, we always start with the lowest column, the ones. And four plus three, equals seven. Then we move each time to the next highest digit. After the ones we have tens. Five plus one equals six. Then after the tens, hundreds. Two plus three equals five. Two plus three or three plus two. We have five. So, so far, we've correctly worked out the ones, tens, and hundreds. What's our total so far, guys? 567. But we're not finished yet. Now, after the hundreds comes, comes a comma, and then thousands. Two plus five? equals seven. And you see how the comma comes in after every third digit. And after the thousands, we have ten thousands. So you can see zero plus nine equals nine. So we're nearly done. But we have one final digit to look at. What's the next place value after ten thousands? Hundred thousands. And you can see, there's only one digit for the hundred thousands. The digit is six. So there's nothing to add together with the six. So we simply write six again as the total. So therefore, after we've worked out each digit in the correct place value, we can say 602,000, 254, plus 95,313 equals, what does it equal? Excellent, guys. So you see why it's important that we always need to make sure we have the correct place value. Because if our digits are in the wrong place, we'll be adding the wrong numbers together. So let's do one more. Here we have 284, 284,904 plus 553,455. Excellent, guys. So you'll notice here now, we're adding together two six-digit numbers. Both numbers have the same amount of digits. So when we come to do step one, we all have values in the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands columns. And where do we start? Do we start with the hundred thousands? No, always start with the lowest numbers, which is ones. 
So 4 plus 5 equals 9. And all we do, we just carry on doing the calculation to the next highest digit. 0 plus 6 equals 6. Equals six. 9 plus 4 13. So when we get to a number higher than 9, 10 or above, we have to regroup. So what we'll do is we'll write the 3, which is the 3 from the 13, and we have to carry a 1. This is what we call regrouping. So now, 1 plus 4 plus 3 8. equals 8. And the next column, 8 plus 5, equals 13 again. So what do we write? 3 carry over 1. And now our sixth and final digit, the hundred thousands, 1 plus 2 plus 5 equals 8. So what's our final total, guys? 838,000 369. Excellent. So we can say 284,904 plus 553,465 equals. Brilliant. And that's how we add together large digit numbers. The first thing to remember, place value. Any questions? No, that was great, guys. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation about how to add large digit numbers together. And it's important to remember the place value of each digit, because if we get the place value wrong, we're adding the wrong digits together and our sum will be wrong. And now we've got our stretch sequence, guys. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll begin with some rotations. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, excellent. And now we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant, guys. Now let's have a stretch and a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. Very good. And now to finish, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. And now it's time for our flashcards activity part of the lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do before the lesson, you will need to print out the flash sheets and on the flash sheets, you will see a series of addition sums. And what you need to do is cut them into individual sums, fold them and put them into a bowl or a tray. And what we're going to do now is we're going to invite our students to come forward, choose a sum from the bowl and then work it out on the board with everybody helping. So, first of all, you should have a bowl with some sums in like this. And next, we need to invite a student to come forward. So, first student, Pak Bung. I would like Pak Bung to come forward, please. Okay, so Pak Bung can go first. She gets first pick at her sum. Excellent, only one. And then you can open it and you can show it to your friends.
317,485. Okay, so the first thing I would like Pak Bung to do is to write this sum on the board. 582,172. Perfect. Plus 317 thousand four hundred eighty five. Okay, that's excellent. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check on the place value. So how many digits in this number? Six. How many digits in this number? So that's perfect. Both numbers have the same digits. So we can see each time we're adding the right numbers together. And now, over to Pak Bung to demonstrate. Do we start here? No. Now, where do we start? With the ones, always start with the lowest. Two plus five? Seven. Two plus five, seven. Okay. And then seven plus eight? Fifteen. Equals fifteen. So now carry the one over. Excellent. Then one plus four? Five. Plus the one we carry over? Six. Comma. Two plus seven? Nine. Five plus three equals eight. Excellent. So you can see by going from the lowest numbers, the ones, all the way through. Tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Pak Bung has correctly worked out our calculation. And what's our answer, Pak Bung? Correct. 899,657. Pak Bung, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Bung, guys. <laughs> and now we need another student to come and do another sum. But first of all, I need to clean the board. Okay, so our next student, who can it be? I would like to invite Pat. Pat, come forward and choose your son, please. You can stand here for me. Okay, so now it's Pat's turn to choose his son. Excellent, Pat. And you can show it to your friends. Excellent, guys. Very well read. So first thing to do, Pat, can you write your sum on the board? 254,000. No comma yet. We have 254,000, comma, 700. Excellent, Pat. Well done. Plus? Excellent. So once again, we've got two six-digit numbers. That means we know our numbers are all in the correct place. Now, it's up to Pat to work the numbers out by adding them together. So can we do our equal symbol first, Pat? Just our line across here. Perfect. And now, we start with the lowest column, the ones. Equals 17. Equals 17. So we drop the 7, carry the 1. And then we have 5. Excellent, guys. Well done. And next equals 14. So we drop the 4, carry the 1. And well done, Pat. Well remembered, comma. 12. Drop the 3, carry the 1. Nine. 
drop the five, carry the one. You see, we're doing regrouping all the time. And now we're into our final column, our hundred thousands. Two. Perfect. You see, by using the right place values and adding the right digits together, we can successfully add the numbers together. So, Pat, what's our answer? 453,497. Pat, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, please, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now, and my students have excellently demonstrated adding two numbers together. You can pause the video now and play on with your own students for around the next 10 minutes or so, and we're going to carry on playing here. So first of all, I need to rub the board, and now I would like to invite another student to come forward. I would like to invite Prel. Prow, can you come and join me at the front, please? It's now Prow's turn to pick her son and stand here for me. Thank you. And you can choose your son. Can you show it to your friends? Excellent, guys. So what do you notice about these two numbers? Do they have the same number of digits? No. We've got one five-digit number and we've got one six-digit number. So this is where we talk about place value being very important. So, Prel, can you please write this sum on the board for me? Okay. So we can start with 200, that's fine. Start with the largest number, 200,690. So notice, guys, this number has six digits. Excellent. Prel, that's brilliant. You see what Prel has done? She has successfully seen that the five-digit number falls one place value shorter than the six-digit number. And by writing it in the correct sequence, we now know that each digit has its correct value. Now we're ready to add them together. So we begin with the ones, zero plus four equals four. Nine plus zero Two plus nothing equals two. <laughs> I just heard the silence, but that's right, because there's no value here. So two plus nothing equals two. It's the same as two plus zero. Now, what's our answer, please? Excellent. 232,794. Prow, that was brilliant and very well done about the correct place value. <laughs> High five, big round of applause for Prow, guys. Okay, so now, next sum and next student. First of all, I'll clean the board. And now, I would like to invite Net. Net, can you come and join me at the front, please? Time for you to choose your sum. Stand here for me. Okay, so Ned, can you pick a sum and can you show it to your friends? Excellent. 4,274 plus 896,102. Okay, so this time we have a four digit number that we're adding with a six-digit number. This time, place value, very important. So, Ned, first thing to do, can you write the sum on the board? And start with the largest number. 
896,102. Excellent, Ned. Plus... So four, yes, comma. So what we need to do, look at how many digits we have. So we're going one, two, three, four. So the four will come in this column here. Excellent, well done. And then comma. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we've got our digits with the correct place value. Now we're ready to add together. So can you draw your line for your total? And now we can say 2 plus 4 equals 6. 0 plus 7 1 plus 2 equals 3, comma. And 6 plus 4 equals 10. So drop the 0, drop the 0, carry over 1. Equals 10. So again, drop the 0, carry the 1. Perfect. You see, we're adding the correct digits together each time. And if we need to, if we have more than 9, we have to regroup, carry over the 10. And we have our total here. Net, we have 900,376. That was brilliant, Net. Very well done. Big round of applause for Net, guys. And I think we have time for one more student. So I'll clean the board first. And then I would like to invite Pangpon to come and join me at the front of class. And Pangpon can choose his son. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> okay, and you can show it to your friends. Let's see, what do we have, guys? And four plus 706,000. 145. Okay, so five digit number and six digits. Let's remember about place value. So, Pangpon, can you write this sum on the board? 12,004. So, we have our five digit number 706,645. Plus. Okay, so Pangpon has done very well. He's noticed the five-digit number, and he's made sure that the six-digit number comes one place value more. Now we're ready to add together. So we plus five equals nine. Equals nine. Zero plus four equals four. Zero plus six. Six. Six equals eight. 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0 equals 0, it equals 1, yes, and then 7 plus nothing equals 7, bang pong, excellent, so our answer, excellent, that was brilliant bang pong, high five and a big round of applause. And a big round of applause for everyone, guys. Everyone did really good. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, what you need to do is print off the worksheet and give one to each of your students. And as you can see, there is a series of addition problems where our students have to add the numbers together. And what we're asking them to do is to always show they're working in a table like this. And remember, guys, about place value. We always need to make sure the correct digits are grouped together so that the addition adds up correctly. And give our students around 15 minutes for this activity. And what's the first thing we need to do, guys? Names on top. 
And teachers, we can monitor the class and help our students with anything they need. So, Chu, this one's for you. Hello, here's yours. You're welcome. Pat, for you. You're welcome. And Nadia, for you. You're welcome. Ned. Thank you. You're welcome now. Pak Pung. Thank you. Bang Pong. Thank and you. And So, names on top first, guys, and then work your way through the series of addition problems. And remember to show your working in the table like we did on the board. And if you need any help, let me know. We can do it together on the board. Okay, Ned. So first one, we have 302,567. Yes, you can do your tables on the side. So we're adding together. So first of all, this number with this number. And show your workings through your table so that we can see the correct place value. And don't forget your name, Pang Pong. Excellent, Nadia. Brilliant player, well done. Well done, that girl. You see? So what's the answer? Okay, very good. And pay particular attention to the final few problems, guys, because it's different numbers of digits. We have five digits with six digits. <laughs> yes. Almost all the sevens. <laughs> Excellent, Ned. Well done. Nadia, very good. 585,792. Excellent, you. Well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to look at the different addition problems and using an addition table, correctly add them together. And it's important to remember about place value. Always make sure each digit is in the correct sequence of place value. And that way we know we're adding the digits together correctly. And my students all did a brilliant job. So well done, guys. And that's all we've got time for for this lesson. So we hope you've enjoyed it and found it interesting and now understand more about adding large digit numbers together. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again soon.